This, no, no. Oh, welcome, welcome to, to this, this episode, episode of Mercy Intercom. I've been seeing a bunch of comments recently saying like, it's fitting that they say welcome back to this episode because I watch every episode ten times. So you're trying to I'm trying to them. I'm no I'm trying to fix it because we do say it wrong every time. It is welcome. No, to but this I episode. mean, but if people are like, it's okay that they say that because I'm gonna come back anyways. Now you're trying to, like, isolate them and, like, make them feel like fucking freaks. So every time they listen to it, they're going to be like, have I been here before? I think I'm hallucinating. Like, I'm getting deja vu. Y'all, literally everyone who is watching this is, like, (laughs) we're experiencing a mass delusion together. Like, we're infecting them with our mental illness and, like, they're being delusional with us. I saw something recently that someone was like, um... I'm such a bitter, like, bitch, and it's honestly because of Drew and Enya, and I would never take it back. And I was like, uh, Charlie D'Amelio fans are like, I'm so kind and sweet, and it's, and it's because, because Charlie's Charlie. guided me. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, I fucking hate everyone. I'm, like, consumed with bitterness and anger, um, and it's because of these two. I'm such a hypocrite, because, like, when I hear shit like that, I'm like, there's no way people think I'm a bitter hater, and then <laughs> someone's gonna post a supercut of me saying, like, the most evil, hateful shit ever. And, like, I really am trying not to be mean. It just is in me. It's in me. And I don't think it's cool, trust me. But it's just in me. It's a part of me. I just... I think you'll never know someone nice unless you know someone who's a bitch. And I'll be the bitch in your life. Like, so then everyone else who you meet, you're like, you're like... I'm setting your standards for human interactions really low, low. So that when you have interactions with people in real life, you're like, damn, they're being really nice. <laughs> and it's <laughs> They can because, only be up from here. Yeah, I'm, I'm only sending you guys up. So honestly, I'm taking the L for y'all. So yep. you guys should be happy and stop being a fucking bitch to me. <laughs> I, I saw another comment that was like, I don't think I've heard these two actually have a genuine conversation in the last 27 episodes. Every single thing they say starts with, I and it's just like <laughs> it's like us responding to each other with our own it's like not a conversation no it's literally like the infamous John Mulaney like quote from one of his stand-ups where he's like um, when I, I I just wait for people to finish talking so I can talk next. exactly that's exactly how we function as people um and then it made me freak out for a little bit I spotted for a little bit and I was, I was like am I like a conversational narcissist like do i make the conversation about me every single time and i was like is that how my friends perceive me and like the people in my life perceive me like am i a conversation narcissist and i was like i don't think so like i don't think i make every single conversation i've ever had about me but like it's very easy like for me to do that so and i've done it a million times on here so i'm like does that seep into reality? But I think I've been re- good recently about like asking questions and like be actually being interested in what I don't know if I ever say. have perceived you that way, but maybe it's because I fucking do the same <laughs> shit. Because right when you were finishing that, I was going to be like, I, and then I was like, wait, no, that's not how it works. I'm doing the thing. Head too. But I, I don't know. In my head, I'd like to think that most conversations are the person talking about themselves because that's what you have to cater to your interactions with other, with other yeah. people is yourself. But I understand what you're saying because I fully fucking do that with so many people. I can name people that I always feel like I do that with. One of them is Sabrina, mm. who I don't know if she's going to be listening to this episode. But every time we're together, especially because our friendship is like newer, I just go on these like intense rants where I'm like explaining something about myself yeah. or my life or like something that's happened to me. But we also just, me and her have a friendship where like, we get into really intense conversations like about our stuff, like our own personal life. So I'm like, no, this is a a weird thing. We're just sharing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anybody that I like, see, like I I hijacked the conversation and made it about me. But again, I don't. Is that like how a conversation goes though? Like I I don't know (laughs) how a normal conversation. (laughs) How do you talk to other people? But I'm like, also like a majority of the time, the person that I'm interacting with, like I have zero things in common with and i'm like okay like like i'm i i feel like this unneeded pressure to carry the conversation and like i have to be the one to carry the conversation because the person i'm talking to literally doesn't know how to speak that's what i was thinking is most times where in moments where i feel like i'm being like the fucking hijacker or terrorist of a conversation it's because 
I, I'm talking to someone who's like maybe naturally a little more quiet than me yeah. because then I think about my conversations with like Nat. Me and Nat can just like talk for fucking ever, and yeah. it's like I don't feel like either of us are like saying too much. Because Nat can, she's a good talker. Yeah. So like when we talk, it's literally just both of us talking, like almost I would maybe say an insufferable amount to each other. But <laughs> because we're both like pretty like yappy, we could just like go on forever with each other. Yeah. Um, and with Orion too, like. Actually, with Orion, I don't even know what the fuck I talk about. Like, we no. literally, we speak, like, a different language when we get into a room. And sometimes when we're talking, I'm like, I'll hear us. And I'm like, Orion, we sound so crazy. Yeah. Like, we don't sound normal. Yeah. Um, I, I feel that. That's, like, how I feel, like, com- like talking to anybody in the friend group. I'm like, if anybody <laughs> actually heard these conversations outside these walls, like, if these walls could speak. No, if anybody heard these fucking conversations, it would be, like we would be locked away like we would be 5150 so i even think of that hypothetical like what are they gonna do call the police on us well i mean like it's it's just a saying like that's just who would say that because walls have never spoken well no like it's like if they could speak it's like it's a saying if they could i don't i don't what did they have like first words they wouldn't call the police oh my god you're like actually so fucking stupid (laughs) (laughs) you're actually freaking me out right now um yeah conversation narcissist i feel like that's you know i'm gonna own that i'm gonna own that and be like yeah i do hijack every conversation i and also i'm gonna become a vibe terrorist this year i'm gonna ruin like i i've i've dabbled previously yeah, dabbled. i've dabbled i can ruin the mood for everybody and i can just like i don't know if that was dabbling you were like you were wearing it on no you you know what it was now you can dabble because when you were at first a vibe terrorist you weren't like really aware like you were aware of it but, but I couldn't really control spoke it. spoke on it. Yeah, and it wasn't like you were doing it on purpose. Now you can dabble for fun. Yeah, now I can walk into a room and just <laughs> give off the worst fucking energy <laughs> ever. And just like, like, there's those people that walk into a room and like you immediate, like you can feel their presence. And it's like, it's like a great feeling. You're like almost comforted and you're like, you, you like look up at them and you're like, wow, like that's like a, like that person knows some shit, has been through some shit. Like I'm the opposite of that. I'm like that person is a dark entity and like they're gonna come like ruin the vibe and that's like what i plan on being instead of lighting up the room you literally want to turn off the lights and like flashbang exactly throw fucking flashbangs and like (laughs) ringing sound and like call of duty no someone who honestly i'm like almost embarrassed to admit this but someone who has that like aura for me with someone we experienced yesterday in the grocery store. And like when I saw Sean Mendez in person, I'm not kidding. It felt like like there was like this aura. Like it, there did, do you know what I'm saying? Like there was a presence in the room and it wasn't because he, he, he was Sean Mendez. Maybe it was a little bit, but I also will say like he, was, he had an energy. Yeah, he, and he was wearing a cream sweater, which was yeah. reflecting a lot of light <laughs> and making it hard for me to walk around. And I'm delusional. And he was following us. He around. followed us everywhere in that fucking store. He like was obsessed with us. It yeah. was weird. He he was like kind of like at one point I heard like a, and then I was like, oh my god, is Sean Mendez in here with COVID? Why is he sniffing like that? And then he was really close to us, and I was like, oh my god, is Sean Mendez sniffing? Uh, us right yeah, now? it was like fucking diabolical. And also he made I contact with kai and they had such intense eye contact that he crashed the cart into his <laughs> homies um and i just had to say that for kai or it was literally he saw us and like maybe by some chance he knows that we're like some of the most evil people on the internet and he literally <laughs> got like scared to the bone because he knew we're he the kind of motherfuckers shaking. to sit on mics the next day and make up a story <laughs> and lie about lie about the interaction he literally was Did, like no. fumbling for his phone and like texting his publicist like Please. like no he like pulled out a fucking like razor and held it to my neck i don't even want to get into that yeah though. no he literally okay like sean mendez seems like a sweet person but he literally carries a shank around and i'm like <laughs> we're in air like, like you're, you're you good you're good bro but no he did like we were <laughs> looking at the vitamins Okay, he followed us around the store. Like, we're not joking about that. Like, everything else is a joke. We, we all just so happen to be going into the same exact fucking And we aisles. beat him to it every time. Yeah, so and I know he was. An- I know he was insecure. <laughs> so we would get to an aisle and he'd be right behind us. And, like, I 
kind of my instinct was to like leave immediately but i was like i was here first no i was here first and i'm gonna be loud and obnoxious and i'm going to say the most absurd shit possible the thing is like what also doesn't help is in air one, that's here. one of my favorite places to be loud and obnoxious because i feel like the people in there feel like they're safe from freaks in there but i'm like you're the fucking you're freak and i'm gonna make you uncomfortable safe. fuck you uh but yeah we were in the vitamin aisles and we were looking at just like weird holistic bullshit like per usual that I do because I believe in it and we were looking at these boxes and I we were standing in uh in front of this row and uh he reaches over my shoulder and and completely invades my personal space I know that was, was kind of interesting it was I was like weird and- right and I felt you know what it felt like it felt like that one interviewer where he was like can I smell your armpit? Because, like, his armpit was in my face, and I, like, smelled his deodorant. <laughs> and I'm not joking. I'm literally not lying. Do you know what t- clip I'm referencing? No. There's a Sean Mendes clip where the interviewer is like, let me smell your armpit. And Sean Mendes is like, oh, okay. And he lifts up his arm, and he smells it, and he's like, that's nice. And it's, like, the <laughs> most uncomfortable clip ever, and I am probably shouldn't be bringing it up because he's – Sean Mendes is actively trying to get it eradicated from the internet. Um, and I just like keep adding fire to the flame or oxygen to the flame. Um, yeah, he did do that. And he seemed like a sweet man, but he didn't say, excuse me, which I was like, yeah, which I give him a pass because he is Sheen Mendeley. Like he is like that bitch, but like he is Sean Witherspoon. Yeah, he is Sean Witherspoon, but no, he, um, he also interacted with this baby in a very sweet way, and this baby and her and her mother, and I was like, oh, like he is just a guy. But then I was like, I can see right through your publicity stunts. Like I can see that you want people to see you being nice to this baby. This but I just nice like baby. I just don't trust anybody any day anymore. Like <laughs> I don't. I literally like can't. Everything's a publicity stunt now to me. Um, but uh, why? How did we even fucking get there? Oh, you were talking about. <laughs> he had an aura. <laughs> He literally did. You're talking about a, a light when you enter the room. Yeah. You said Sean Mendes was your light. Yeah. I'm so annoying. I saw him in an aisle and I literally turned and like walked to Kyle and goes, and I go, that's Sean Mendes. And then we turn and we walk back and I looked at him and I was like, I have such a knack for immediately seeing people. You could have your mask on. You could have your fucking sunglasses on. You could have your hat on. Bitch, I see right through all of that. Like, I am so, I don't know why, like, because I, I don't claim to be someone who like, necessarily cares for celebrities by any means but i can point them out really easily and i'll be like i don't know their name but that's someone from that and then the person with me will be like oh my god that's literally blah 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 um and yeah that's my story and fuck you cool bro like you're good at recognizing people like Um, you have a pattern seeking brain like okay i was gonna say that i was also in the room so maybe the energy that you were feeling was coming from no yes actually it could be kai it could be your energy I was going to say, no, actually, all day yesterday, not only was it <laughs> raining and, like, scary outside, but, like, you were with us, which definitely added to, like, dulling my, like, senses. Um, but then when we got in the aisle with him. I anyway. will say, Kai, like, you do have a, you do have a comforting aura. Like, oh. genuinely. I genuinely mean that. All right, thank you. Um, but, like, not in that scenario. That, there, <laughs> that was definitely Sean Mendez Sean. is definitely outshining you. Yeah, that was... Maybe it was my energy. You, you see, you can't even take, like, a little compliment and go with it. You have to... Like, why are you trying to beat Shawn Mendes right now? Like, you know Shawn Mendes has a better aura than you. He has beautiful hair. <laughs> he like, had a beanie on, I thought. Yeah, but he had his, like, hair, like, fluffing out. And I was like, you've got beautiful hair. He's also, like, the richest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you better have good hair. <laughs> you better. Um, no, but Kai, we, I, we love being around you. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> i had to bring it back because <laughs> we are so mean to kai on here people either think we hate kai or we want to have sex with him um and that's true there's yeah, no in between you decide. <laughs> like you decide we do hate him you can decide if the other one is true though i do not hate kai no i don't hate him at all do not bring me in that do not bring me <laughs> in. i never said i hated kai you i literally never did. said that you just did you <laughs> psychopath you scary. Y'all are trying to fucking gaslight me. I've literally, I never said that. I Tweaker. said, I love Kai and I love being around him. Tweaker. Oh, okay. And watch, I bet Kai's going to edit this all funny so it oh, looks like I said it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Now you're gaslighting us. You're a master class. You're a master debater. You're a master class. I, I do masturbate. Um, gaslighter. Um, 
Well, we have nothing else to talk about. That was the episode <laughs> today. Thank you guys for watching. It got really fucking awkward just right there. It was so fucking awkward and It got awkward because y'all were pitting two men pitting against a woman when all she mm, needs is help. As it should be. As it should be. My hate for men is seeping oh into all Oh my god, my other here co- we fucking no, go. No, I'm not gonna, I won't here go, go on the ram, but I'm saying like, I think I need to like go to like a workshop to learn to like love, um, because it's like seeping into my other conversations. Like when we were at dinner and I, we were talking to uh, our friends and I was like, I literally showed up, was like, I think men should be put in cages. <laughs> <laughs> But she agreed, though. I know. Which is awesome. Um, but I need to be careful because sometimes I say those things around, like, random men who I don't know that well, and it looks like they're going to punch me in the fucking face. <laughs> Which, like, adds to, like, my fuel for hatred, but, like, also my fear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, literally trying so hard to think about what to talk about. And you shouldn't think. You should just talk. That's the fun. That's the best part about being us is that we don't think. We just talk and we fill the world with things that it doesn't need. We're not giving anything, we're taking. I actually have never, like, really, like, thought about this, but Kai constantly does have this, like, radiating, like, black cloud around him. Do you see it? Yeah, I can see it. What? I don't see it. Oh, that's weird that you don't see it. You don't Everyone see it because you're used it. to it. We you all, were born with it, we so all you talk like you don't it. you don't realize it. <laughs> we all talk about it all the time. I thought you were gonna say he always has something next to him, and there's like a little wet paper towel next to him. I thought you were gonna say he always has a little wet paper towel next to him, <laughs> but he doesn't. That's literally my. That's actually one of my worst like things I do in the house. Is one I use so many paper towels. Oh, sue me, sue me. <laughs> 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 I use so many paper towels and I just wet them and like carry them around the house. Like I'll hold on to it because I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste this. I'll wipe something down with it or whatever. But then I just leave little damp. Um, you know what I do that's around. so fucking annoying is I'll be washing the dishes and I'll get halfway through the dishes and I'm like, oh, like I want to see what's happening on the TV or like something. So I like dry off my hands with a paper towel and I throw it in the garbage and then I get right back to it and I do that like three or four times. So by the end of the fucking dishwashing session, 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 Are you rebooting? Holy shit. What happened? What was that? Drew, do you know where you are right now? What was that? You... I think you were just like you stuttered and then you like rebooted. No, that like literally I saw like matrix code in my eyes. I was like so fucked up. Did y'all put a screen in front of my face? No, I don't even have like a screen oh like, my that God. big on me. It was like the matrix rain, but rainbow. Rainbow code. Wait, were you having an LGBT reboot? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. It, I, what the fuck was I saying? Session. Um, by the end of the dishwashing session, I like the gish basher session, the badger session. I like just had dry really- my hands off and wash my hands like 36,000 times. Also, it just doesn't help that one time we told Josh to get paper towels for the house and he accidentally ordered a 36 pack jumbo roll. Yeah. So we have thing. infinity. No, but it's dwindling down. We only have like four more left, left. which is actually really disgusting that we were able to go through (laughs) that many so fast. I was like, damn, this is going to last for as long as we live here. Yeah. Um, But I use them like I use them to like honestly wipe my ass sometimes. We know, but that's not a joke. No, but I know. I, when, when we run we out have, of toilet paper, we wipe our ass with fucking paper towels because we're so lazy and disgusting. No, when, I'm saying when we have toilet paper, I'll use paper towel because it's a little more gritty and it exfoliates my holes. Oh, yeah, I do like the blood. Like I do like <laughs> I do like when it like etches it. Knowing people who have had hemorrhoids literally has sent like a new shockwave of fear into my body that I'm like always convinced I'm going to get a hemorrhoid or have a hemorrhoid. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm convince i'll get one too but i don't think i will like i feel like i already would have if i was going to yeah i've never had one before but like it's literally a fear of what mine. the fuck is a hemorrhoid even i'm like, pretty sure literally what you, like, is that strain your butthole and then there's a little like uh fissure well, I, I, and then yeah i know what it is like i know it's like and a little it boils skin tag. Over. it's like a skin tag that like bubbles out stop a fissure a fissure a is like a, it's cut. Like a cut yeah but i don't think it comes out of the cut I think it's literally like a whole different thing. Oh, I thought. Look it up though, because I thought a hemorrhoid was literally from getting what a is cut a hemorrhoid? and then it gets infected from poopy butt. But Kai's Kai's saying yes to me, and 
He's seen a no, lot of things in his life. Swollen and inflamed veins in the rectum and anus that cause dif- discomfort. Oh, then what am I thinking of? That's just like from shitting too hard, huh? Yeah. Or See, I thought it was like a prolapse, butt. like pink sock situation. Ew! Where you, like, you like prolapse your butt, <laughs> but just a little bit. I'm push too hard. <laughs> like saying that so casually in conversation is fucking disgusting. Goatsy. Do you, know what, do you know what Goatsy is? No. Look it up on your phone right now. <laughs> Everybody listening, don't look it up. Like goat? Like a goat? Yeah, Goatsy. And go to images. Did you find it, Kai? What, what, oh, did you look up Goatsy? Oh, it, I, it's like hiding it. Oh, I all right, this isn't like as bad as like a pink sock do. Why is this considered a goatsy? Okay, never mind. I just saw like a really crazy one and like I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, don't look that up. That is so scary. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Did you ever um, eat a blue waffle out? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a blue waffle before? <laughs> Wait, I need to look. I haven't seen blue waffle in so long. I think I think Google scrubbed it though. You can't look it up anymore. Being told to look that up and looking it up in front of your friends in school was so fucking embarrassing. Literally. Was- I loved it, personally. I thought it was hot. Like I, I thought Blue Waffle was like a real thing and it scared the fuck out of me. It is. No, or is that is edited? Not. No, it was real to me. Coochie? It was real to me. NyQuil coochie? A NyQuil chicken. Um, no, that's not real. But I, I have... No, it has to be. You think that there is something that's going to make a vagina blue like turquoise blue yes like colloidal silver can literally turn your skin blue so like i bet there is a disease that will make your skin blue your vagina blue i i have and yet like i don't want to argue with you on this because i literally have to believe that it's real like i have to for my own sanity like if it's not real i'll freak the fuck out why would you want that to be real because it was just like such a part of my life but the part, as a child uh, that, that's like if i just like started talking to you about how santa isn't real and you're like no 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 wait please, what i have to <laughs> wait, Hold it, on. Is real. it is is it really it a disease that turns your skin blue no, no this, that's that real. turns your pussy blue like she's saying blue waffle isn't real but i know there's diseases that literally like literally cyanobacteria can get into your fucking blood or like cyanosis like yeah maybe hypothermia can make your fucking coochie blue I gotta look this up. Is blue waffle? I just real? looked it up and it said no. <laughs> Here's why your vagina is blue during pregnancy. <sighs> <laughs> no, it literally is fake. <laughs> I I'm like, there's no way. You I know. swear to God, I thought it was real with my whole life. Is that I why you actually real. asked me if I had blue waffle before? No, no I I knew you didn't have blue waffle before because I. <laughs> I would have known you had blue waffle. Like that's not like, a okay, secret. Like okay, not you kept. scoffing at me. Like no, I, like you're dumb for thinking that one was real. Like when you fully believed it. No, you're lying, dude. I, no, I swear to God, I thought it was real. On everything, like on literally everything, I thought it was real. I'm smoking blue waffle pack. Though. I need to get in there and shave some of that off, like truffle, onto my pasta and eat the blue waffle balls. Cheese? Yeah, the cream cheese. Blue waffle cream cheese? Blue waffle truffle. Ooh, wait, I have blue to see waffle, what it looks like. Oh my god, like. blue waffle truffle butter. I have to see <laughs> a photo of the blue waffle. No, Google scrubbed it. It's like hard to look up. I wonder what the new version of like telling someone to look up blue waffle is. Dude, I still feel like it's like kind of the same shit. Like, I, cause I've been seeing a bunch of viral videos go viral recently of like the jar man or whatever, the jar video. The guy putting a jar in his ass. Yeah. So I've been seeing like a bunch of remakes of that. And then like also those like ones. Wait, wait, wait. You've been seeing remakes of people putting jars in their ass? Yeah. Cause like who doesn't, like that's hot. Like people like that. Oh, okay. It's not that weird. Are, are kids still, like, talking about two girls, one cup? I don't think so. Damn. Blue Waffle and two girls, one cup are extinct. Those are classics. Those are, but, we need the retro, those. But Ast- we should remake them. <laughs> Astar is... she. They're still coming up. Yeah, Astar is still around. There's also the, the Scary Maze game is still... 
dude that's I saw, like a rite of passage though. i know like you have to do that but i saw one i was like that's not fair because they weren't having the girl play it but they just had her following it on the tv <laughs> <laughs> which is even more mean like literally you're close up to it um but yeah scary maze game is so good uh, my siblings were just scared of literally ever everything and mm-hmm. anything like my little brother was scared of horses and um monkeys oh <clears throat> so we would show him pictures of monkeys on his ipad and run after him with them have i talked about when we used to <laughs> call madeline <laughs> yeah the there's that one fucking picture if you look up like ugliest girl ever <laughs> dude that's so mean if you look up ugliest girl ever that's like so mean if you look up ugliest girl ever did you know that a picture of drew comes up? um but um we used to look this up and like literally put it as like the background to all of our like computers in the house. And like, we used to tell Madeline, like this was her, like this picture was Madeline. And she like used to cry her eyes out. Like it was so fucking mean. Um, and she never lived it down. And to this day, she's still a creepy, ugly guy. Um, and I'm going to send it to her right now to traumatize her. I'm trying to think of, what else you were oh i remember as a kid we would make so many email addresses because we were so bored like that there wasn't really anything much to do on the on the computer and like on the internet like other than playing cool math games and we would make email addresses like so i funny. really yeah we would just make them for fun so that we could like dude, our, our generation is like it. yeah dude we used to just do the most boring shit ever oh my god i don't know if i've ever talked about this but i remember in fourth grade this girl who i really didn't fuck with and i fucking hated um came to school this maybe it was no this was middle school this was like sixth or seventh grade because okay whatever maybe it was fourth grade oh it was it was so in fourth grade this girl comes to school and she's like showing pictures of her boyfriend like she's showing everyone pictures of her boyfriend on her phone and like to clarify i did not go to school or live in an area where the where white people really existed like (laughs) like i literally like i I, I, we didn't know any like just like straight like obviously like there was like kids who were white but latin but like even that was a short amount like i was like one of like maybe 10 kids in my whole like grade who were like latin but like no just straight up like buckwheat off the farm motherfuckers like that was like was not a thing um So she's going around showing this picture of this boy and she turns it to me because I was like, we we already had beef and everyone knew we had beef. I was like, no, let me see. Like, let me see the picture of your boyfriend. Because she's like, oh, yeah, he's 16. Mind you, we're like nine. (laughs) So I'm like, or like 10. So I'm like, you're dating a 16 year old. You're dating. Yeah, you're dating a fucking 16 year old. So I was like, let me see. And she shows it to me. And it's literally one of the most popular, like, scene boys on MySpace yeah. ever. Like, if you look up white emo boy with blue eyes. We'll wait, I want to see. Photo. Yeah, I want to see if I can find the photo. But I saw it and I didn't say anything. Like, I just go, I, I, dude, I was such a conniving fucking cunt, even at the ripe age of 10. I go, oh, that, it's literally that picture. I go, oh, that's so sweet. That's cute. Like, how'd you meet him? And she's like, oh, like through family, friends. And I was like, oh, wow. What school does he go to? And she just like starts like pulling shit out of her ass and talking. And I was like, and he's 16. And she's like, yeah. And everyone's like, oh my God, you're so fucking lucky. Like, what the fuck? Also, mind you, this was like during justin bieber time so all of us couldn't believe that our girl just bagged a white boy with blue eyes we were like girl you're so and long hair and long hair we're like you're you're the luckiest girl on planet earth yeah except me because i was a bitch we got to this fucking class and it was computer class time computer day yeah it was like computer day and i go up to the computer and i like pull over one of my friends i was like you want to see something and they were like yeah and i look up white boy white emo boy with blue eyes and her boyfriend comes up and I click on it and it's just like a MySpace link. But because the school has a firewall, you can't even get to it. But you could see that it said MySpace on it. And I was like, wait, what? Is this not Cindy's boyfriend? Like, You're what the so fuck? mean. Um, <laughs> me just airing her name out. But like, I don't even know her fucking last name. Yeah. I don't know where she is. Um, 
But yeah, and then I told everyone, and it was really embarrassing. And I called everyone over. I was like, "Guys, guys, what the she, fuck?" He doesn't go here. Um, <laughs> My boyfriend doesn't go here. <laughs> no, she's he's from a like, different school. She was like, "Yeah, he's from a different school," and I was like, "Why is he like famous?" <laughs> like, I was such a bitch. I was like, "Wait, he's all over Google, <laughs> guys. We should look up our names and see if we come up." And like, obviously, we were not coming up. Yeah. I was just being so mean. And really tormenting this girl. Oh, hell um, no. And yeah, and that's what you get for being a fucking liar. Like, why are you lying? I mean, literally, we lie all the time. No, like, we lie because it's fun and it's loving and it's a game. She was lying for attention. Yeah. Which I also do. Yeah, I was going to say, like, there's, 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 there's not much of a difference. There's not really much of an argument. I <laughs> just... I, I was just thinking, like, back to stupid shit I used to do when I was a kid and, like... Like, I never really had any, like, moments like that. I mean, there was one moment, like, that, like, I don't even know if, like, I can really say what went down. But if you are a boy, I mean, also girl. Like, you, girls play video games, too, right? Like, girls play video games. What was that? You don't know what a video game is? No. Oh, it's, like, this thing, like, do you know what an Xbox 360 is? No. Oh, so girls really don't play video games. I don't know Wait, if you okay. keep saying it. Do though. girls poop? What? Do you know what poop is? I <laughs> know. Like, no, you're making things up right now. You're just saying words to me. You're Kai, like trying to make girls me don't stupid. poop and they don't play video games. What? Girls don't play video games or poop. I knew that they didn't poop, but I thought that they maybe played video games. Okay, I know what a video is, but what is a game? What is a video game? It's like something you play on the TV. But anyways, um, oh. one of the most evil things, maybe you'll learn from like this story. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how do I kill this? How do I burn this to the ground? Um, there was, uh, we were playing Halo Three Forge or some, whatever. We were playing Halo where and it was custom matches, and me and my friends took it very seriously. And we had this one kid join, and we literally spawn killed him. No, I can't even tell the story. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. We we spawn killed him. Over and over and over again until he, like, got off Xbox. <laughs> and, like, I could tell something was up. So I, like, ran to his house up the street. And let me just tell you something was up. That's all I'll say. Something <laughs> was, was up. very mad. Yeah, something was going on. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah. So girls really don't play video games, do they? <laughs> I just, like, yeah. Uh... That was, like, one of the things I did similar to that, where I was, like... Just being evil for no yeah, fucking reason. Yeah, evil for no reason. Just bullying. Like, <laughs> literally, I was the first cyber bully, I think. <laughs> like, low-key, I was the first cyber, cyber bully. Um, I was definitely a bit of a cyber bully, but I was just a bully in real life, which Dude. we've talked about, like, forever ago, but, like, I was just... I was mean, and I was definitely projecting my anger onto other people girl this is a crazy fucking story so like webkins was like all the rage like it was like webkins was like the it game like you I would beg be your parents so, bad, so badly for webkins like me and madeline like that's all we asked for ever were webkins um and we got like a pretty decent collection going and like we had a really fucking cool house and we had like the the really rare items that you got with like the new webkins and shit and like we would trade our items and yeah whatever and we met this girl um at a hair salon um because our moms were getting haircuts and she was like oh do you play webkins and we we're like yeah we play webkins and she was like um we should play sometime and like I forgot how she knew about our island or our our house, but basically, oh, because we showed her a picture of our webkin, all of our webkins, and she knew like the items, the rare items that came along with them, yeah. and like she could just only imagine what our house looked like, and she was like, oh my gosh, like what's your password? We should like play together sometime, and like you should let me play on your account, and I, and then she like, and Madeline was like, yeah, like give me your password, so like we traded passwords with her, and we went to log into each other's accounts, and. This fucking bitch logged into our account and stole our most rare item. I don't remember what it was and sent it to herself, but her dumbass gave her 
the real her pa- her password. real password and so we logged into her account sent our item back sent everything in her house to us and changed their password and never saw her again and like we completely ruined that game for her forever but like she deserved no, it because rightfully she, so yeah, y'all were just being naive like sweet kids yeah and, and she decided to take advantage of that d- yeah literally just like don't fucking come from me because i will destroy you yeah, like and basically kill your fucking family i will the way. burn your house down and plant c4 in it and <laughs> watch your family okay. perish <laughs> okay um I that's have... my favorite fucking thing in the world is to say i'm gonna blow something up with an rpg like i fucking love that um i've never said this publicly but i just thought about it i've been catfished once in my life and it oh literally oh my you know god i don't even know if i know what you're talking about <laughs> no you don't because this is so embarrassing holy shit so this is like this was literally back <laughs> this is so fucking funny no this is in sixth grade like so mind you i'm like literally 12 or like 11 or 12 and i was a big fan of shake it up and i was on (laughs) (laughs) i was on twitter and like i had like this like twitter or i don't even know how i met this person i don't even know if it was on twitter i don't know where I think I met them on fucking Omegle. Oh my god. And I was god. on Omegle and this person straight up was like, I'm Bella Thorne and I was like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you told me about this. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't have a phone at the time, so we talked on kick. Or I did have a phone. But we spoke on kick because I was embarrassed because I had an Android and I was like, Bella Thorne definitely has an iPhone. <laughs> like, she's going to see my messages are green. I'm scared. Oh, so, or subject. Anyway, we spoke on kick and she would straight up like we, me and this person, whoever the fuck it was, like, I don't think it was like an older person. It definitely was someone around my age who was just lying because they were too nervous mm. to like say their real information because we would have real conversations. But every now and then. <laughs> They <laughs> would start talking about being Bella. <laughs> this is so fucked up. They would try to go like, <laughs> they'd be like, yeah, everyone likes Zendaya better because she's a better dancer. <laughs> and Did would, she ever talk about her dyslexia? Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, but everyone always bullies me because I'm dyslexic. Like it's Dude, so hard. That's the most and iconic. She would just like randomly bring that up and like me being like. Oh my god, Bella, you're just a person. Like, how long did this go on this. for? It probably went on for like three months. Like, it went on oh for like quite my some god. time. god! And I don't know why we stopped talking, but I think I just like came to the realization. I was like, this Wait. is not Bella Thorne. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking. <laughs> that's hilarious. like one of my most like pen fifteen ass like, like moments where I'm like, oh my god, no way. <laughs> are you serious? That's who you are right now. Like, holy shit. Well. Um, that's fucking hilarious. I like. I remembered that story halfway through, but I like forgot how fucking funny Dude, it was. Dude, <laughs> like, yeah, that people shit. make fun of me because I can't dance and I have dyslexia. <laughs> like, which is so funny for this random person to be like me being that Bella bitch Thorne. can't fucking dance yeah, and like literally. adding that to her character <laughs> arc of being like Bella Thorne is insecure because she can't dance as good as Zendaya. Dude, like, that's so fucking funny. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. There's like a in a bear in like. In, like, seventh grade when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was, like, crazy, um, I was obsessed with, like, JTAG X, JTAG'd Xbox, Xboxes, which is, like, hot swapping, um, like, the disc, so, like, you could, like, play, like, hacked CDs on it, and, mm-hmm. like, I wanted a JTAG Xbox so fucking bad, but, like, I just didn't want to get in trouble with, like, the law or some shit, I don't know why I never got it, but... I, like, had to resort to other methods to getting my Modern Warfare 2 account hacked because all of my friends got infected with, like, the hacks. And, like, I wanted 10th Prestige because that fucking emblem was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. And every one of my friends had it. So, like, I had to resort to other methods. So I went to fucking eBay and got on eBay and, like, bought a listing for $25 for, like, a hacked lobby that I could get 10th Prestige and unlock all the guns in Call of Duty. And I was like, oh, this is, like, fucking huge. Like, I'm going to have better hacks. I'm going to have hacks that last the entire time I play and, like, all this crazy shit. Um, they they messaged or they emailed me and they're like, what's your password and account or email and blah, 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 blah. And, like, my naive sixth grade ass gave it to them. 
and they hacked my account and sent me like the most conniving like they called me like a squeaker which was like a fucking derogatory term that you fucking squeaker like your account just got hacked bitch and like i was so embarrassed and humiliated because like one i got hacked um and two like yeah it's just it's my dad's credit card is on the account and i was like oh my fucking god they're gonna steal all of my dad's money so i had to go and tell my dad and my mom literally (laughs) called this like found this kid's mom's phone number somehow i think she probably emailed him was like this is drew's mom like what's your mom's number and bitched her not bitched his mom out but like just yelled at this kid's mom for an hour and like they like beast mom together like they like fucking power ranger and just yelled at this kid together for an hour and i got my account back and then two weeks later i did the same thing um and just never told anybody and my dad's I, my dad's identity could still be stolen to this day <laughs> so i just never it learned my lesson the family your identity I just, stolen. i just i know i just never learned my fucking lesson and i give my password out to everybody um like i literally just sent a fucking photo of my card over text like i literally don't learn my lesson i do that shit all the time and then like when certain things like when you're like ordering like from a dispensary and it literally asks for front and back photos of your fucking license uh your license i was gonna say your license card just your license and i send it and i'm thinking like this is so dangerous i really just don't care about my identity anymore yeah but in my head i'm like i'm such a public figure like which doesn't correlate at all like you could be a public figure and have privacy but i'm just like hmm it, like y'all can have it like yeah, I if, don't if, give a if shit. they want it that bad maybe they deserve it more than i do i mean my maybe identity, they deserve my identity more than i that's do. literally what i'm saying is like my identity is already stolen and in like the dark webs and it's just being flipped around and cycled and i probably have 36 cards opened under my name and don't even fucking realize it yet and my credit score is zero negative five thousand um so at this point i'm like literally i don't give a shit like i don't care i don't I, care anymore so Sorry, I just remembered because you were talking about being on eBay. I remember during the like One Direction like fucking hype and my phase when I was a huge fan. The letter jacket. The letter jacket that was so expensive. It was $100, which like now for like a nice. You've talked about this twice. Nice made one. I'm like, okay. But I remember (laughs) I felt like I was, I knew my dad was paying way too much money for it. And we didn't have the money to be spending that much money on anything. But I think he felt bad because I wanted to go to One Direction concert so bad. And Dante got to go to Ultra like every year. And just like One Direction tickets were so expensive compared to that. So he like saved up and got me this jacket. But I remember when we were buying it, I was like, this is a scam. And I'm scamming my dad right now. And then the other thing that um, I, I haven't mentioned, but during that same time, I remember when I like bought my tickets to go. I th- my dad bought my tickets, obviously. I was I did not have money when I was like 14, 15. Oh my God, or was I 13 when I went to that fucking concert? No, I was like 14. Um, but Damn, I remember- how old are you now? Oh, I'm 38. Oh, uh, cause I'm just turning 16. <laughs> You're literally older shit. This You're aging weird. rapidly. I thought you just turned 15. No, I turned 16 in March. Sorry, I should have just said that. So I just turned. Oh, 15. okay, yeah. But like, it's really weird for you to be like, whatever, be having a podcast with me. No, it's not. We can be friends. It's, I'm like a mother figure. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, I remember when I bought the tickets, I was so scared that I was being scammed by like a scalper or whatever the fuck they're called. And I, I remember up until like I went to also Dante went with me to that concert. I remember up until we were getting our ticket scan, I was like, I bought fake tickets. Like oh, I, I know I bought fake tickets, and I remember that anxiety was like so deep. It's so funny how like now it's. Would of you course, have lied? If you like, would you just? Yes, been like, I fully would have been like, I, yeah, I would have been like, I loved it so much. Like, I loved it. It was like <laughs> the best time of my life. Kept that secret to this day. Um, because my dad would have been so upset, and then also felt like so m- bad for me. So I would have been like, I loved it. Like it was <laughs> awesome. Um, but I, it's so interesting to think how like buying anything on the internet used to be like there's a so 99% scary. chance you're getting scammed. It was like it used so to be like scary. anything you're buying 
on the internet is probably 100% likely that they're just stealing your information. Fucking bones. Like, like literally, like, you're getting shipped bones in the mail. Like, that's what I was always scared of. It was, like, bones and rocks. <laughs> and now it's, like, there's, of course, you could still get scammed. But, like, it's so easy to tell. And most people on the internet are, like, real people who are, like, trying to Dude, sell Dude, my something. dad gets scammed all the fucking time by Instagram ads. <laughs> all the time. Like, there was, there was the most absurd... <laughs> fucking thing i have ever seen in an ad in my entire life and it was like this like remote control like floating shark but like not like the helium one it was like the it was the most absurd thing i've ever seen it was like an rc (laughs) flying like shark and he was like oh my fucking god i need (laughs) that i need that and he spent like 25 dollars on it which red flag number one like an rc shark is not 25 dollars like a 300 (laughs) dollar ordeal he got it in the mail, and it was literally a plastic toy shark that you get from Dollar Tree this big, and it was, like, a, just a hunk of plastic painted, and that's what he got. And, like, to, I won't let him live it down, ever. Oh, my God. Wait. He buys so much shit off of the internet. He just discovered Amazon, like, this last year. Yeah, my parents recently, like, made the splurge for themselves to be like, fuck it, we're going to get Amazon Prime, and they, like, buy the most dumb shit ever. Like, yeah. I walk in the house, and I'm like, what is this? And my mom's like, I got it off Amazon. And that's, what? like, her only explanation. I wonder what the percentage of the population is that has Prime. Like, it's got to be, like, yeah. upwards of, like, 60%, no? Or is that, like, too high? I feel like it's probably a huge number. I feel like it's super common. Like, my parents Kai, have can it. can you look that up? Um, but I just remembered, actually, in 11th grade, I got scammed off Grailed, and I was so fucking <laughs> mad. I was literally so mad because my friend, like, a close friend at the time, <sighs> Patrice, I was getting him we would always joke and what made me more annoyed is it was kind of a joke purchase like at this time like bape already kind of like died down like because we all know bape like had its like huge thing in like the early 20 uh 2000s and then like 2014 like yeah like they, they all had their like ups and downs and by this time it was like 2016 or like 2017 so it wasn't like the coolest thing to have babe but it's not like it was like you could kind of laugh at it even though i owned babe things like whatever Mm. so i bought him this fucking stupid ass babe jacket like one of the zip ups so i spent like kind of a decent amount on it i I got like it was like 300 bucks at the time yeah but uh, this i should have known because this one was like 150 and i was like Mm. i'm just gonna fucking cop this because like i never see this at this price it's usually like 200 and up and i bought it and i remember i was like patrice is gonna fucking love this and then it just never came and i was so sad. Oh, hell. I was literally so upset. I was like, that's like before that Grail like a, had like authenticity yeah. checks and like buyer protection and shit. Like, yeah, because now it's like if they don't ship that shit out in like 48 hours, like yeah, you get your money dude, back. But I remember I was like, can I please I bought, get my money back? And he was like, fuck you. Oh, and I was hell. like, you're going to die soon. Like, trust me, I know these things and you're actually going to die. He's pass probably away. dead. Yeah, no, he is. I actually visited his grave and I pissed on it. Good. Like, we twerked on his fucking grave. Um, <laughs> I bought so much fake shit off of Grailed and didn't realize it was fake until years later. Um, and yeah, that's just like my life. It, but there was one thing on eBay that I bought that I was like certain. I was like, okay, this has to be real. And it was that Supreme face mask. Yeah. Um, and I bought like that Supreme face mask. Um, and it was like the normal price, but then like, um, I recently found it and I was like, is this thing real? And I like looked it up cause it's still in my like red chest and I looked it up and now it was fake, like literally fake as fucking bones. Like the little <laughs> tag was like so off, but yeah, just, just naive buying grailed was so scary. Yeah. Grailed was like, cause those are like the worst people in the fashion game. Yeah. It's like, like so not everyone on grailed now, but like at that time it was just like pieces of shit kids who were literally scamming kids who lived in the middle of nowhere it was like the piece of shit kids who actually lived in like la who were buying real pieces taking pictures of that shit and then like selling the fake ones of that piece so that they could keep buying real pieces for themselves it's honestly genius yeah it's really smart but they fucking suck yeah and i fucking hate them we just got swindled and finessed but that's okay dude remember our supreme tea era oh yeah that going was to like i want shops. i so badly want a white box logo t-shirt right now like i think that's like regardless of your opinions on supreme like i think that is just such an iconic piece of clothing and i love it i just love the way it looks and i i love like just yeah that piece but it's still so taxed and i don't know if it'll ever be untaxed like that specific like 
box logo tee or box logo hoodie, I think will forever be like a grail to someone because like i mean if i'm still thinking about it someone out there is also like i it's funny to think about how like the the market of supreme has changed so much like when we were buying shirts in 2017 like those like just their like random drop tees were going for like 150 yeah. up like yeah. resale like they were like 200 like up and now i think it's like really cheap because they make so many fucking shirts mm-hmm. that like i don't know if it like, costs like do their much. drops even sell out anymore like I don't know. who who the fuck is buying Supreme like on drop day anymore? Like genuinely, like I I don't know who. I the feel fuck. like there are people who are doing it. I mean, like I did want um that bug sex. I wanted toy. a bug sex. Oh, dude, and that I loved that uh, camo jacket. The was it Junior Watanabe? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted that so bad. Um, the fuck is happening? But yeah that that was a cool collection but supreme like literally freaks me the fuck out now like it li- i have it tied to such like dark like ego thoughts there's nothing on the site i don't know how what's happening like Ew, i can't dude. navigate it and it's freaking one me out. time at fucking um we were at like a high school football game and i was like wearing like a supreme hoodie or something and i it was like the first time i was like ever actually bullied in person and it was by this kid that i grew up with and like like we literally shared the same last name so like we were like homies by like force in school and he was like me and tag wore our supreme fits to the football game and sure enough this motherfucker like it it definitely came from a very jealous place but he was like oh i see like like i can't say what he said but he said supreme somethings are out to play or something and i was like what the fuck like (laughs) what do you mean and i was bullied um and well didn't he end up uh also dying because they're yes. we, we have talked about there's such this weird thing when people bully us and are rude to us they do pass away soon after yeah it's fucking weird so if you say anything fucking rude about us ever you you'll will die. die it's like, like actually so scary it, i mean it's, it's not like something we're like proud of but like it's definitely like it comes in handy yeah it's a curse i'm like really trying hard to see like how much like <laughs> this is fucking insane <laughs> Uh, this okay i'm girl what the hell are you looking up you've been looking up for 15 minutes i I was looking up the like supreme tees because i was just like i wonder what the market is like like i want to know like how much like they're being resold for like are they still 200 dollars? are they still selling am i tripping like there are a lot that are still selling for like 200 dollars. but i mean like going into one of those shops like around two like are all the teas still that expensive because i remember even at the end of it some teas were like 85 dollars yeah it it wasn't like it wasn't like which is still crazy but i think i think retail they're already like 60 dollars so like paying 20 dollars on top of it isn't the craziest thing yeah but i saw this and it's their mike kelly shirt and i'm like oh that's cute i was like oh damn 15 bucks for this like and then look at the way they (laughs) (laughs) and i i don't think it's like a real the real like mike kelly oh, thing they no, did it's not but like it's what the fuck is wrong with this <laughs> i'm gonna person? go up to the camera because it's so wait funny. no you can show we can have kai insert it no but it's just so funny oh, it's not gonna show but I, i'll i'll tell kai to like show it because i was like 15 dollars. that's that's a good deal honestly and it's literally cut up like a fucking maniac yeah. no more diy cutting it's your shirts no up. Stop more it. no more little hu- it's the little huddy effect like little huddy is doing it so you can stop let little huddy do it <laughs> once little huddy is doing it it's done yeah but i will say we watched the hype house show oh. and i'm like little huddy is no kid. little huddy like all of them are like cute except for that freak of zoid freak of nature freak bitch alex, alex warren I is a fucking menace to society stand that motherfucker and i hope you hear it <laughs> <laughs> i hope you hear us like uh, b- berating him making beef okay let me let me be clear everything that happened to him in his past is really sad and tragic and i really do feel bad for him for that but the way this motherfucker can like treats the industry and treats himself like takes himself that serious and like how everything is like shrouded in this like illusion of wealth and like he has to make as much money as possible now it like maybe i hate it so much is because that's how i used to think i don't know i just legitimately like cannot stand him like the way he speaks oh my god fucking god no dude he's a fucking freak of nature one the way he talks to his girlfriend which i guess like if you watch the show yeah sure whatever i guess there's like some like resolution at the end and i'm not about to tell like 
that sweet girl to like walk away but babe. you know the saying if you find yourself in your relationship being like no it's good sometimes babe walk away babes babes that's no bueno because that guy is a fucking freak dude the way he talks was driving me crazy also just like that show was just kind of sad like more than yeah. anything it was more sad than it was like obnoxious and like laughable because as someone who's a part of a friend group who we do film together and we do work together a lot i'm like holy shit i wonder if people think or they people like that definitely think that all the groups in the world function like this and what's crazy too is they kept considering themselves like this group of friends friends before anything and i'm like if my friends started talking about our relationships like this i would be very uncomfortable yeah it would be very weird and like <laughs> I don't know. It, it also like it made me really sad because that show like very obviously was supposed to be something completely different from the beginning. But like certain people backed out and like certain people's contracts didn't line up and they couldn't figure out like the payment situation. So that's why it was eight episodes long. And a lot of the people that like you really wanted to see weren't in it. And so they had to force these like fake narratives throughout it that were just kind of fucking boring dude it was actually one of the most boring things ever yeah, it but, felt like you put a camera on random kids yes but it was very entertaining at like some points like it, it picked up the slack like when they stopped talking about all the sob stories and like got into like what what, what are their names like baron and Jaden or it's like Baron Rylan. Yeah, Baron Rylan and, and Ch- Little Huddy and like Chase. Like that trio, that trio was the, so... all of their camera time to me was fucking hilarious. And then Mario, Ravon, and Larry. Like dude, yeah, they those, were like hilarious. They carried the fucking show like for me personally. Like anytime they were on camera, I was rooting for them, and I was like, these kids are so. I know fucking if, funny. if they like d- spent more time filming the those like crews, it would be way funnier. Mm-hmm. But literally, like uh, not us, like confirming what they were saying in the show where they were like i just feel like it's very split right now i'm like yeah girl for good reason yeah it is it's very funny on this side y'all are boring and they're funny y'all are too existential and like so like i guess i don't know we've been lucky but it's not even luck it's by we're choice we made people. it this way <laughs> we made it this way where we were like normal people sorry yeah we are like normal we're carrying out normal friendships and we just so happen to make content together and like do it naturally and it would be a different story like the way they would be like when they went on that trip together and they were like no one's making content like i'm like i thought like the whole thing was it of this was like y'all are friends and rekindling like friendships yeah and they just kept like the way they talked about making content and like just really weird but i guess that is just like a side of the internet that we don't really understand because we don't make content one nearly as much and two with that kind of ideology we really make content at our own free will and we do it because we genuinely love doing it that i guess that's the other thing is like they they, were thrusted into this like yeah and they they would talk constantly about how like a lot of them don't like doing what they do and like we do the things we do because we like doing them yeah and also Alex like so badly wants to be David Dobrik that like he can't sleep at night. You know what's fucked up is he made me look at him and be like, damn, da- maybe David Dobrik is a decent person. <laughs> like, and that's when you know it's bad is because I'm looking at this like copycat and being like, damn, the real one's better, dude. <laughs> like, at least be a good person. Like, if you're going to like, I don't know. Again, also, I don't know this motherfucker personally. He could be like the the nicest sweetest angel yeah. ever but they could it could have just been like reality like tv bullshit like that we all know happens and like painted into the bad light but like i'm sorry like you can blame it on the edit hey, hey blame, blame it on, on the edit, edit. You but you said those things you said those you things you the one who said it yeah also i stand thomas i stand his girlfriend yeah, his like, girlfriend eats. yeah i know she, she eats. eats she's like the most grounded person ever like I'm sure some people are going to be like, bitch, I'm not watching this fucking show. Fuck you. But I think it is like, honestly, way more interesting this way than it could have been like if they had it really interesting because it's so like sad that it's like very real. Yeah, like it, it, it like, is like a go. really like, real thing of like, go. yeah, of just like a lot of people in entertainment, like especially this part of entertainment. It, I like get it. It is like a big fear of. It's so accessible to so many people now that you can be easily replaced. And it's like this fear of like wanting to stay on top. But again, I don't know. In my head, I'm like, you can't do it this way. You can't do anything in life that way where you're just like 
yes, it's normal to have these anxieties about what where you're going to be in like the near future, but to really force it and start to mutilate the people around you and the relationships around you and belittle them into nothing but numbers is really dangerous and it's like yeah. not a good game to play at all. Yeah. But that's like but I do that. Like I use y'all as pawns. I mean, look at this. That's that's why I like I honestly was like fuck a podcast. Like I never want to work with Drew again. Like honestly, I'm going to go move back to Miami and never speak to these people again. Yeah. And then like I was at lunch and I overheard um, the girl from uh, Call Her Daddy, she was, like, talking about how much money she makes. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I, like, need, this. need that. And I want that. So, th- that's why I started a podcast. Yeah. No, I literally, genuinely... Never mind. What? Were, were you going to say something mean? I literally have to take a Xanax before I, like, get on here. Because if I don't, I'll freak the fuck out and punch you. What the fuck? Because I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, Whoa. Alex Warren did not break his foot. What a piece of shit. No, you did not okay, break your foot. Bitch. Like, you're such a pussy. I broke right? my foot. <laughs> no, you didn't. Because you were on the fucking roof of your trailer literally the next day. Like, I'm sorry. You did not break anything. <laughs> this is an Alex stupid Warren hate fucking, train. <laughs> stupid fucking cart that you rode on, little freak bitch. Like... <laughs> I just, I also, I just don't like fucking content in general. Like whether it be like Alex Warren or David Dobrik content, I don't like when the content is making your friend like the butt of the joke or like that's the whole thing is like. Yeah, because they have I'm, that Peabody kid that's literally obviously their Jonah and like the whole Jonah situation makes me very uncomfortable. It always has like, because that's not even his fucking name. Like it, it's just like he, he, heavy guy, like funny joke. Like we're going to make him the butt of the every joke. And I'm yeah, like, also, leave this like, guy fucking alone. To, to add on top of it, like literally one of Jonah Hill's biggest pet peeve with Hollywood is that he like gets typecasted as like the bigger guy. Yeah. And this guy's whole thing is calling his bigger friend Jonah Hill. Like, oh my God. Which is I like, never realized that. You're like doubling down on this like narrative. I don't know. Like, again, to each their own. Do I hate watch all of their content? Yes, because Absolutely. I'm a fucking loser and I love keeping up and being like, this is laughable. You're a freak. But yeah, I just. They're can't. still making money off us and that's genuinely all they fucking care about. Yeah. At the end of the day, that is all they care about, which like, I wish my brain worked like I'm that. I'm just going to start endangering you guys. Like, I'm so down. Like, I've said it before. Like, you can stab me, like, <laughs> randomly at any point. Like, as long as it's non-lethal. Just because, one, I want to know what it feels like. And, two, like, it would make a fantastic story. <laughs> it would make a fantastic episode <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> just the audio. Literally. Um, But, yeah, and that's my take on the Hype House show. Um, Honestly, if I'm going to, like, put a number on it, 6 out of 10. Really? Like pretty I was like, going to say like a five, 4 or a 5. Yeah, I I'm just I'm giving it a 6 because like I watched the whole thing and I was like I was like I need we to finish this. Like yeah, six we did watch like 6 episodes last night. We binged the fuck out of it. Yeah. So like I'm like anything that's like even brain rotty enough to make me binge watch it, like there's obviously something here and I'm intrigued by these people. So you'd agree with my take on the Mad Dragons then? that they they have to be doing something it may not be for your brain but to have every song you put out have a billion streams you're doing something you're doing something you like it's true it's true it's true it's all for you (laughs) shut up everything i I do everyone anyone who is brave enough to make something for the public eye they get kudos for at least that how about that everything see the thing is i'm talking and i'm saying something serious and you're just like ignoring me because you want to take your turn to talk next um no i'm singing a song and it's for you for you it's all for you everything i do i tell you all the time heaven is a place on earth wait stop that's like literally making me tear up a little bit like come on that's my song of the week okay um at 63 minutes damn 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 damn. all right well media of the week. week. They should have got James Charles on that high pal shit. I gotta know <laughs> what, what he's was up that, to. What connection did you make there? Um, Low Anthony to James Charles. What was that connection? Did he used to say that? Oh, no. he said video of the week. Yeah. Um, Go piss, girl. My video media of the week has been 
um, these videos where people show how to use different kind of knives. Mm. And I'm not kidding. That's like all yeah, I've been watching. Yeah, she's been watching cheese It's like cutting. how to cut every cheese, how to use every Japanese knife, why Japanese knives are so expensive, how to cut every kind of shellfish, how to prepare any kind of meat. Um, because I'm so fascinated. Like, what a good, interesting... You can prepare my meat with a knife. I can prepare your meat with my mouth. And circumcise it. Um, and then my audio Bring media back is my foreskin. Remind Me by Patrice Russian, Dirty Work, Steely Dan. Um, and Don't Tell Your Mother by the Sundays. Kiss one another. <laughs> Die for each other. Don't tell your mother. <sighs> Fuck. I'm just gonna scroll through my playlist and pick a random song. Boom. Right Side of My Neck by Faye Webster. Oh! Johnny? I Kiss Your Lips by Tokyo Ghetto Pussy. Oh! And... No, we already said that Kiss one. It Was Amoeba by Claro. Um, T for Two. Reaper by Claro. Duda mi, uh, Mix. kiss o Uno Mas. Um... <laughs> Paranoid Android by fucking Radiohead. Um, okay. Radiohead. Kid A, Kid A, Kid A Son or In Rainbow's Daughter. And you can't kill yourself. What is In Rainbow's? Oh, the fucking Radiohead. When you said, oh, fucking kill me. Weird oh. fishes. And um, I'm, I was just. But yeah, the truth. You can't kill yourself. I'm killing myself. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. This is a son who likes Radiohead. I'm fully fucking killing myself. No, you myself. choose a son who likes Radiohead or a daughter who likes oh, Radiohead. Oh, a daughter who likes In Rainbows. Because exactly- In Rainbows is a vibe. Like, if, if it's a girl who likes In Rainbows, I'm like, okay, get it, Miss Depressiana. Like, you're serving. But you're you know freak. she's smoking weed and drawing that one art style. No, because then I'm breaking her fucking hands and she's going <laughs> to have to relearn to use her hands. <laughs> um, okay, and I want to see what YouTube videos I've been watching recently. Because... Other that's than a, plane crashes and near death experiences, you know that's all I watch. Like I you love, know that I literally I live to live and die for a plane crash video. Um, that's what Tupac should have said. You know what's fucked up is all I've been watching is Call of Duty videos. No, is keyboard videos. Is like really good sounding keyboards. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> oh. Oh, you don't have YouTube Premium. It's no, like the worst okay. thing ever. You're literally you. Your main so oh that's good that's good <laughs> that actually like <laughs> i know it, it, like i feel it in my penis a little bit. <laughs> i felt some mud pussy throb a little yeah, bit yeah like but yeah i watch those all the time like literally that's like kind of all i watch um me predicting the big thing coming and it being the volcano exploding and sending a tsunami and killing a bunch of people. <laughs> but recently, I've been thinking, like, nothing is going to come. Like, I <laughs> really do me. think. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I, I think, like, we might be in, like, a big thing recession. Like, I, I genuinely believe that. <laughs> like, there's not going to be anything happening for a very long time. And the, the pendulum is going to swing back and we're going to be so chill. Like, the world is going to be so chill very soon. <laughs> Predicting it. <laughs> Predicting it. It's going to come true. I'm manifesting The chill it. variant is coming really I soon. I need to see. I need another and it, video. And it's like Delta, like but instead of losing your taste and, like, smell, it heightens your taste and smell. Mm. And makes you high as fuck. Like you get high as fuck and then you want the munchies. I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, I'm, done. I'm gonna do a bunch of whippets. <laughs> okay, that's um, it. We have to end this fucking episode. Oh, this. <laughs> what is that? That's a classic. I'm gonna retro that. That's a classic. Oh, this is one of my medias of the week. Doctor Octagonopus. <laughs> <laughs> that was like band original band kid humor. I can't. I like beans. This I is like getting beans. copyrighted. We can't push this up. I love beans. How about you? I don't think so. It doesn't even have a copywritten thing in this description. Oh, Slay Town. Um, oh, so I can use this on my YouTube for one of my next collages and not get canceled. I've been watching the. Um, there's that uh, 
there was like that monkey versus <laughs> dog <laughs> uprising. Never... Did you hear about monkey that? Monkey versus dog uprising? Yes. It, I forget where it was, but like there was a, there, I'm not kidding. There was like a battle and like they were killing each other. So what happened was these dogs in, I think somewhere in India attacked a baby monkey and killed it. And I'm not fucking kidding. These monkeys went on like a genocidal rampage and killed over 271 dogs. And there's video of these monkeys dropping and throwing these dogs off of like very high buildings and killing them. It's fucking insane. And the, the death toll is like getting out of control. And they're like, it's the most absurd shit ever. Have you not heard of this? I'm, I'm, I swear to God. I swear to God. You're literally talking about a dog and monkey war. I'm on the side of the monkeys, honestly. No, same. Like, the dogs deserve it. <laughs> um, there's, like, an actual gang war in India going on. I'm not kidding. Look. Um, but, yeah, they just be, like, they're just killing a shit ton of dogs. And they deserve it. And it's because they allegedly killed around 250 dogs to take revenge because they killed one monkey baby, which is fucking insane. Oh, I love nature. <laughs> but no, that's like, that's gone beyond, like, that's like human intervention. Like, that's insane. Like, that's gone beyond, like, nature. Like, that's like also monkeys learning habits from, like, humans. Which is kind of scary. I still want to smoke so, with uh, Caesar. <laughs> I still want to smoke with Caesar from Planet of the Apes. I, th I feel like that would open my mind to, like, a lot of things. <laughs> Okay. Thank you guys so much for listening. We could to keep this episode. going. You're so fucking stupid. Um, thank Everybody you guys. just wants me to cut me off always. Yeah, I'm cutting you out of my life after this. Fuck you. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Meet if me you at were the, the Grand person, Canyon. if you were the person who catfished me as Bella Thorne, let me know. And um, if you could and or if you wanted, no, no, no. no if okay. you, if you. If you could right, do the thing, if, or if it, it could figure it out, then we could know if for sure there's something wrong. One of these days, I'm going to bring a really big oversized pair of scissors to set it. and just fucking chop your mind. I'm like, do it. Oh, dude, don't fucking do it to me. <laughs> okay, bye. Cut me in half.